Well, hello guys, and welcome to another day in the life. October required me to adapt to a slower pace. And not only to adapt, but to be okay with moving slower. You know, this season of our lives has been ruled by extracurriculars and my kids are thriving and loving them. But something that I wasn't expecting is that since our evenings are running later, our mornings are now starting later and so much slower. So I am learning to rest, learning that it's okay to not rush and be productive and to go, go, go first thing in the morning. I am taking my morning slow. We are schooling later. And guess what? Everything is okay. (laughs) Everyone is all right. Welcome to October's Day in the Life. I hope you guys enjoy. Now, as we get into the cooler months, my body is requiring more sleep, more home-cooked meals, more time that is not scheduled, a stillness, a season where rushing has no place. And something that always reminds me of not rushing and the beauty of it is bread making. So as I make our loaf of bread today, I am reminded to ask Christ to give us this day our daily bread. Not tomorrow's bread, not next year's bread. This day, our daily bread. is one of those things that requires so much repetition. Some days I feel like all I do is clean off my counters and sweep my floors, but I know that this work, this work is mighty. You are never wasting your time when you're serving people, whether it be your family or the masses. Servanthood is something that our culture doesn't talk about enough. So mama, while you're sweeping your floors today and wiping off those counters for the hundredth time, know that God sees you and that servanthood is smiled upon.
the bread is done and looks marvelous, it is now time to finish up some morning chores, get dressed, and head to the schoolroom. All right, so school has been happening later in the afternoons, around the table and all together. It's not my style, but it's been working this month. That's the biggest blessing of homeschool. As seasons change, we aren't forced to do some routine. We're allowed to change with the seasons and still get learning done. really happen that quickly. I wish it was as beautiful as those clips, but uh, we all know school took about an hour and a half to two hours, but here I am. We are done. We are cleaning again. And after this, I finally get to catch my breath a little bit. All right, y'all, now before I head into the evening chores and duties, I am taking a moment to sip some yummy tea and plan out my holiday planner. Y'all know the holidays are right around the corner and Family Nest Printing Company created the most beautiful holiday planner for you to get Thanksgiving done, Christmas, and even New Year's done. So if you need some help, planning out all the dinners and all the parties and the gifts, then you need this beautiful planner. The link will be listed in the description box below. Now, as you can see, it has a month layout. It has to-do lists, what you need to get, grocery shopping, the menu. Y'all, it doesn't only have this for Thanksgiving. It breaks Christmas down and New Year's Eve down. It is the most beautiful layout and fun planner. So if you're like me and you need to plan the holidays, get yourself a holiday planner. And now the evening is ushering itself in. And before I get dinner going, I decide to tackle one more load of laundry. One of my favorite writers, Adrian Oliver, recently wrote something that just struck me to the core. And it was, I don't want to arrive at the end of some day to see I lived accidentally. I want to need my days. Man, now if those words don't connect directly to me kneading the bread at the beginning of this video. I don't know what does. Literally and figuratively, I've been in this season of kneading my days. It doesn't matter 
that the days are slow, they are lived and they are meaningful. And whether I'm educating my children or preparing dinner, I am needing my days. And I hope you guys understand it's needing like with the K, <laughs> just to clarify, um, the way you would need bread. That is how I want to live my days. I don't know about you, but that's a space that I want to stay in and I'm going to try to stay in all season long. something that's really been helping me stay on board with cooking and enjoy my time in the kitchen is having a fall menu. So tonight we are enjoying some garlic butter salmon with some zucchini and rice and it is just so good. We have been loving this dinner. Um, having the fall menu really does help me to relax a little bit and to enjoy the evenings because I know what's for dinner. I'm prepared and I'm ready to go. Look at all that garlic and butter. It's so good, you guys. though our evenings are packed with extracurriculars this season, we've made it a point to gather around the dining room table as much as possible. To break bread together as we are all going and coming from practices to rehearsals to hobbies matters. This particular evening, Justin and Teo had boxing and Titus had a baseball game, but even on busy nights, we make coming together a priority. Togetherness, especially in these colder months, is what it's all about. I encourage you all to slow down. If you're feeling the pool, to change up your routines if they are no longer working and to be okay with resting and taking the days lightly. Your work matters and you work hard. So rest and enjoy it with the ones you love. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in our next video.